Why the WNBA needs to change its playoff format. The playoffs are officially underway to put the final touches on their 28th season which, when said aloud, doesn't sound particularly new. However, compare the two other leagues across America and you quickly get a better sense. The NFL's 28th season was in 1947. Baseball's history is a little more difficult, but the NL and Alabama have been playing together since 1903, meaning their 28th season predated World War II. The NBA, perhaps the most direct comparison to make, had its 28th season in 1973-74, a year when blocks and steals became official stats and games were still on tape delay. All that is important context to keep in mind when looking at the WNBA, which is still growing and figuring things out along the way. The aforementioned start of the postseason will likely bring with it a realization to the WNBA's rapidly growing audience, the playoff format needs revamping. Currently, the first round series are all best of three. Due to flights not previously being chartered, the first two games of the series take place at the arena of the higher seed. If a game three is necessary, they then travel to the arena of the lower seed for a do or die game. The WNBA has been trying imperfect solutions for years. The current format began in the 2022 season. From 2016 through 2021, a much more convoluted system saw teams receiving buys as late as into the semi-finals along with one-off games in the early stages of the playoffs. The crux of the issue, though, was that, without chartered flights, travel wasn't easy. And if the league was committed to a best-of-three format in round one, then at least one franchise would be at a disadvantage. This most recent change saw the WNBA reward the higher seat with a chance at a quick sweep, giving the underdogs a huge disadvantage. To that point, since the change in 2022, the higher seed is 8-0. On Sunday, all four higher seeded teams won their respective Game 1 contest.